Let's talk about another business that wants to open, but this one has been around for a long time. It wants to come back now. The Varsity Cinema. It's been a Des Moines staple for decades. Now it's getting new life. But to do that, it needs the community's help. And we were just sitting there and all of a sudden he just turned around and I looked at him and he gave me a smooch in the middle of the theater. And I thought, this seals the deal. When you hear Varsity Cinema. I especially remember coming to four weddings and a funeral here. Memories flood in. It's been an icon in Des Moines for decades. The Varsity Cinema was, the, the building was originally built in the early 1900s as a, an automobile oriented business and converted into a Coca-Cola bottling facility in the 1920s. In 1938, it was converted into the Varsity Cinema that we know now. And over the course of that 80-year uh, period of history, it became one of the longest operating, continuously operating art house cinemas in the entire country. But it closed a few years back, and it was a sad day for Pat Schneider. When the Varsity closed, I think it was a huge loss for really for film lovers because there was nowhere else that showed those kinds of films. Iowa Film recognized that loss. To me, the Varsity represents so much more than just the physical building that we're standing in. That building, it's dated. As we walked through with Iowa Film President Michael Wagler, we spotted a few different decades. The mid-century rock wall, the film roll carpet, the faux fireplace. What it is going to be converted into now is a second floor lobby space. This upstairs space is relatively unknown, but not for long. It's going to be a second screening location meant for 30 to 40 people. After school programs or Saturday programs where they're just down the street and so they'll be able to bring students in, kids in, and they'll be able to have classes here where they'll be able to show kids kids movies or activities for kids. The lobby is getting a major facelift. Both of these uses will, will now shift down into oh, the concession stand that will be down um, on the lower level here. It'll be bigger and the auditorium a bit smaller, still fitting about 300 people for a showing, they'll be able to offer more concessions this way. Yes, our concessions will be expanded. That's been one of the, the biggest questions that we get, uh, that we will be expanding to a full bar with wine and beer. But that popcorn. Oh, the popcorn. That'll remain the same. Well, and the popcorn is a huge part of this history. Everybody remembers the popcorn because it was inexpensive, and you smell the popcorn coming in, and that just made part of this whole movie experience. New bathrooms, an elevator. It'll be a much more modern experience once you walk in. Outside, they're going to take the facade and bring it back to its glory. The big impact that a lot of, a lot of people are going to notice from University Avenue is going to be um, recreating the vertical fin um, that was historically on the varsity. The goal is to make this building a hub for the arts. Of course, regularly showing arts films, but also hosting film festivals, offering programming. There's an even bigger picture here, though. And the varsity is going to be a destination and a cultural hub as part of a district revitalization. And that creates strength for not only us as an organization and us as a theater, but for the entire community to grow and strengthen. Yes, it's a pandemic, but with the light at the end of the tunnel, people are starting to get excited about being able to go to a movie safely again. And that's making the ask for this $3 million project a pretty easy one. You know, it's interesting. When we do fundraising, we go out to people, and we go to people, obviously, who have a love of, of art and film, but even people who just are thrilled that we're bringing it back because of the revitalization of this whole area. And that has been so easy because people are going, of course I'll give. This is such a part of the history of Des Moines. And it's such a sense of community. So we, it's been a real easy ask. But they're not done asking. They're hoping to open their doors early 2022. But again, they need your help to do it. So if you would like to donate to this capital campaign, we have a whole lot more information on our website. We are Iowa.com.